All right, so I'm Richard Taylor and I'm here outside the Guildhall in Cambridge with Tom Woodcock, who's the uh, Cambridge Socialist candidate for Romsey in the upcoming election. So, um, Tom, well, what are you protesting about here this evening? Well, we were, we were here last council meeting as well. We're protesting mainly about the fact that there aren't enough secure te tenant tenancies in the city, uh, that lots of people in the city are living in uh, basically unaffordable housing, often unsuitable. We think that the City Council has had a, a shocking housing policy that's ended up with lots of the wrong sorts of houses in the wrong place at the wrong price, um, particular shortage of family ha housing um, and uh, for students, so young are workers. So are you not happy with what's being built on new developments around the city? I think there's several issues about the developers. One is that they are um, allowed to buy out of any affordable, so-called affordable uh, housing that so, so, put so, so on what, there. what do you but think the affordable fraction of housing should be? What, 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 do you, what would you see as well, affordable housing? Well, I think everybody housing? should be able to have and access affordable housing as a basic right. Council but, to house yeah, rents that, are forty percent of the market rent. Mm -hmm. Uh, and what the government sees is if, well, hasn't got a definition for affordable housing. No, but I think housing that's a real problem. Like well, when 80%. people talk about affordable housing, what's it really mean? Is it is it small units? Is it council housing? Is it um, part ownership? Or is it all those things? And, well, uh, uh, council has to develop a strategy, a uh, housing strategy, that addresses uh, everybody's individual needs. And as we know, people's needs are very different. So the needs have to meet the uh, demand of the people who live and work in the city. Uh, and they clearly don't. <laughs> there, you know, many. I think it's three things, really. University has got a lot to answer for, and the council needs to hold them to account. There's a sizable number uh, of rogue landlords and agents, particularly, who mean that uh, people are priced out and then lack of housing is preyed upon for profit, uh, lack of investment in council housing uh, and I think um, you know, a, a development of a city plan letting developers do whatever they want really. And what about the specific issue that's on the agenda tonight, it's about shared housing and um, regulating which properties should be available to house sharers and, and sort of even clamping down on lodgers uh, in planning and licensing. What you well, your, your on, on the Labour Party issue? amendment that you're talking about, they will motion, they will claim that that's not what it's for, they're saying that there's an issue about the need for regulating um, the number of uh, houses of multiple occupancy well, what in problem, any one what area problem do you because think they think it creates a social uh, lack of social cohesion and stuff. And they say they're trying to address the housing problem. So do you think I welcome the, do you think, do you the fact they've understood that they've, sort of the kind of people who live in shared housing in, in Cambridge. Not really, no. And I think I welcome the fact that they've put it on the agenda because it means that the debate is being had. I think they've gone about it completely the wrong way. The motion reads as something that blames tenants. I think that's the wrong starting place. It'll end up, and if you start in the wrong place, you end up in the wrong place. Really, what you, what we need to be doing is making sure that we've got a clear idea of what the needs are of people. That's what we've been doing. And that's the amendment that you put forward for uh, absolutely. the Absolutely, and we've there's done. a local plan, and we think that well, whether it will get backing or not, but there's a local plan, being, the local plan has been reviewed in June, and we think that that will, that's a golden opportunity to say um, that, you know, and assess the situation, and I think push up and invest in more uh, affordable homes, and I think that means council housing. And um, something happened today was the um, leader of the Green Party in Cambridge endorsed your candidacy in Romsey. What's your right. reaction to that? He's, he's supporting you. Okay, well, the Green Party aren't standing in Romsey. Uh, I would urge everybody who uh, thinks that they they might want to vote for the Green Party to vote for. Did that come as a me. surprise? Um, no, no. We are very, very. I have very close relationships with lots of the councillors in terms of trying to build. Uh, political uh, allegiances uh, to fight on particular issues. Um, Adam and I have worked very closely on a number of issues, and I think that um, you know. Uh, and thank just you. quickly, <laughs> um, why Romsey? You live in East Chesterton, so why are you standing in Romsey? Uh, I've stood in Romsey for the last six years. I'm not about to walk away from uh, a commitment that I think that I've made to people there. Um, people ask me to stand. Um, we think we've got a chance of winning that seat. It's a city council election. The city council decides on things that happen across the city. I think that therefore we need councillors that understand the needs of the city. And I don't think it matters if your councillor lives next door to you and is cutting your wages, pay, services, etc. Well, then you know they're not really doing their job, and that's what's happening uh, all over the city. People have got local councillors but they're not working in the interest of the okay. local community. Excellent. Thanks for that Tom. Great.